Hi, welcome to my videos. Here we had a M1000E. It's a 10 u blade chassis. And we have got the 4 bed of a M610, which has which 96 GB RAM each. And dual hex core X5670. Um, dual hard drive. Some people ask how how noisy is this one. So we're gonna turn it on. But before we turn it on, just want to do some explanations. On the back there, we have the A, B, and C for the onboard dual gigabit network modules. You need to connect contact um connect that one, the pass through module on the A A one port. If you have the Mizani cards like this, this is the 40 Gbps module. Then you can install it on the B port of the blade and make sure you have the 40 Gbps module on the B slot fitted. And you have a fiber channel one, then you need the fiber channel module installed on the Mizani C port at the blade and you need the pass through module on the back so now we can try to turn it on this is like it's like a very noisy it's like jet engine We have another one sitting here. Um, also, a 15 bit of the M610. Um, someone asked how many PSU units to to install on this M1000E. You you need minimum two of the 2,360 watt power supply unit, and you need minimum two of them. But Dell recommended if you want to fit 16 blade in the chassis, you need three plus three so you need six of them in the back plant or minimum four which three was using mainly to power up those server and one was the redundancy purpose but they will suggest three plus three six six of them uh, 2360 watts power on the warning light is because we didn't plug in all the PSG. The enclosure power is on. For the onboard one, See, you got a port B, port C, and it just depends how you want to use the back plant. If you have the 40 GBPS module, 
like this you can connect to the port B and then the pass-through module you have to install on the B so all of them have 6x8 GB RAM uh, on each CPU come with 96 GB RAM on per plate and dual hex core so back to the on this control module IKVM the IKVM you need to connect to the monitors and to swap the screen you need to pick the screen screen and you say which one was which one so slot 4 which is the one we just turned on um, and it's still initializing yep we just cut enter For the M610 is SAS 6IR, so it's 3 Gbps SAS. Um, they can be upgraded to the H700, H200, or per 6 module. And for the 6 Gbps, you need H200 and H6, H700. And the H700 will come with a battery. You see this up is light up. So do the pass through module on the back. If you didn't fit it correct on the port, it won't be connected. It won't be functions. You will say no no network cable found under the VMware. So each plate has the dual hex core and 96 GB of RAM. Make sure the CPU virtualization function is enabled when you use the Hyper-V server or VMware and Zen server, it will help. You see to invoking the SAS configuration utility.
untuk Red out, so press the plus sign to change it, and then press C to fade, save change, F way yes, and we will create a red one. So if one of the discs fail, you have another drive that can mirror. Now it's really good. 